Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. Previously, I was able to run Nbox. You could say that's an Android emulator on my Pinebook Pro with Manjaro. And with the last couple of updates, they say that Waydroid should also be working. And some people say Waydroid is better than Mbox. And when you look at the instructions on how to get Waydroid working, it looks all pretty straightforward. Just install the two Waydroid packages, run the setup, and you should be good to go. Well, that was the theory. And I mean, installing it, that was not a challenge. So I mainly use the graphical package manager. So I can search for Waydroid and it should show two packages and you have to install both just as it says in the instruction. And I already did that and then run pkexec setup Waydroid that can take a while and you should be good to go. Well, that's the theory because as you can see here, someone tried it recently, Rapid Rotator, on his Pinephone Pro and it didn't work. So it turned out that there were two strange characters in the Waydroid base prop file and you have to remove them because it is messing up starting Waydroid. So what you can do is you can start a text editor with sudo. So in this case I'm using nano. And I think it's here at the end. And and also the line below, you have to remove them and then you should be good to go. Um, unfortunately, I'm not really sure if you have to do this, but I think it doesn't hurt to check it to see if you have PSI active. And I'll leave the links in the description of the video so you can look it up yourself. And I am at the moment on kernel 5.16.8-3 and when you search for PSI then you should see some text with some numbers and when it's not active, you get the error message that it can't find it. So I hope for you it will be the same uh, as you can see here or something similar with those numbers. At least not an error message. So once you have all that in place, then yeah, you have to run the setup, but that's something I already did. So I'm able to find Nbox in the lost and found section. And all the other apps you see here are the Android apps in the Android image. And well, so far, Waydroid is not fast and I think at the moment I'm not really sure if it's really better than Nbox and yeah I also saw uh, on some forums that it's not recommended to install both Nbox and Waydroid at the same time so you can try it but when it doesn't work, then deinstall one or the other. 
well here it says phone is starting and it's lineage OS so you can start the browser and let's just say we're gonna search for Afdroid really sure if that works or not Oops. Well. well as you can see it's not very fast at least not on my machine not on my Pinebook Pro so but let's see if we can install Afdroid really sure oh. here it comes Let's see where to get this. Not really sure. If it really downloaded something. Let's see. Let's try it in another way. So let's try this link. So let's see if this one works. Ah, finally. So yes, allow. I want to download it. And let's see. I think I heard Download complete. Okay. So. Oh, yeah, of course you need to change the settings. Allow from the source. Yes. Yes, install. So probably for your security, once you have Afdroid installed and you don't need any other APKs that you're not getting from Afdroid, then probably you have to revert the setting. 
Um, so, but that's something you can decide yourself. And this is just a test if f -Droid, well, actually, is going to show me something or not. Well, probably you already saw that it's not really fast. And I think when you have like a, let's just say, official Android device with the Rockchip RK3399, the same SoC that is in the Pinebook Pro, then it's probably all running much faster than it is here. So, yeah. I think I'm going to stop the video here and well at least when I upload the video then it means that it actually did finish updating the repositories not really sure why it's taking so long um, yeah it looks like Waydroid still needs a lot of work and probably also we still need a lot of work on hardware acceleration on the Pinebook Pro. Oh, here it comes. So, yeah, it's not very fast, so don't expect to run any Android apps or games that need a lot of performance because, as it is now, the Pinebook Pro is definitely not ready for that. But at least now we have two options. You can try either Nbox or Waydroid and hopefully this will improve in the future. So that's all for now and I hope to see you again in my next video.